On a bright day in midsummer, I set out to Staten Island. It's a place where they brought the tangible metal carnage, a place where it's going to be laid to rest. It's also the place where the final scrutiny of what is left is carried out, the final, final search, just in case there's something there. But I wasn't prepared for what was coming. This is, uh, this is a battalion chief's car. This is what I'm most used to being in at the moment. I have a very close friend, Steve Belson, who I lost, and they never found him. And he was driving the chief, and actually the chief he was driving, Oreo Palmer, was also a close friend. We worked together for years. So now this hits home for these, for me right now at this range. My God, it's unbelievable the damage to these things. This is a fire marshal's car. Totally crushed. The north walkway had been leveled somewhat, not totally. But just south of that, there were the apparatus lined up against the curb. And they were crushed. And they were covered with debris. And I went down into a void to make sure it was safe for the men to go down into that void and into another void with a guy from FEMA. And he had a search cam. And at one point, he also had a dog with him, too. Uh, we had got an odor, and I crawled a little further down, and I found one of the, one of the brothers underneath uh, a rear mount. And you know, we verified it with the camera and, of course, with the dog, and it was just something that was just unbelievable. Now, eight months later, I look at these things, it brings me right back to day one. It's a testimony to my friends. It's a testimony to my coworkers. Guys that have worked for me, guys I worked with. You know, I didn't know this was gonna be like this, but this is it's horrible. It's horrible. This is the cab to the apparatus. This is the tip of the area ladder. Comes over the front of the rig. And the officer and the chauffeur and the men sit right behind it. Can you imagine getting out of your apparatus and that happening to you? These things. Uh, and young kids come in and make sure these things are folded perfectly in the morning and when they go to a fire, put everything away. Look at the folds. They're perfect. They should just leave this just the way it is and make this the memorial.